What is computer vision and how is it used in AI? Now, CV or computer vision is a field of study that I, I am immensely excited about. Um, it is that field of artificial intelligence that enables computers to uh, interpret and understand the visual spatial information from around the world. You know, in many ways, like how humans use their eyes and brains to make sense uh, of their surroundings. So what are some of the key concepts and components? Well, first is the image acquisition. What is image acquisition? Well, it's the process whereby we're capturing images or videos, uh, often using cameras or other sensors. And these digital images are usually the raw input for computer vision systems. Um, you know, you should, can also sort of consider that in many ways, the brain sometimes also filters out visual noise or irrelevant information, such as you know, slight changes in lighting or minor obstructions. Uh, and that's kind of also similar to what uh, AI systems do. Uh, so in terms of uh, image input, an example of this would be a camera or a smartphone taking a picture or video feed from a uh, security surveillance camera. The second aspect of uh, computer vision is what's called pre-processing. So similar to how I explained the brain clearing out uh, information and, and, and cleaning things, before images go through a process of being analyzed, they're often required to be pre-processed to improve quality uh, and make them easier for computers to understand. Uh, this can include resizing, you know, noise reduction, you know, there's often color correction. Uh, and again, it's, it's funny how similar it is to how we process information. The cones in our retina are you know, often sensitive to different wavelengths of light. And also the retina adapts to different lighting conditions, adjusting quite often the sensitivity of what are called photoreceptors uh, to maintain consistent vision across varying uh, lighting environments. Um, an example of pre-processing would be, again, uh, the contrast of an image to make objects stand out uh, more clearly within that broader image. The third area is what's called feature extraction. Now, what this is, is it's the step whereby we begin to identify and extract important features from the image. Uh, these features could be edges, they could be textures, they could be colors, they could be shapes. Uh, all of these help in recognizing the objects within a frame. Um, example of this would be you know, detecting the edges of a building in a photograph. Uh, interestingly enough, and here again, where is that analogy, you know, specialized cells uh, in our retina uh, called edge detectors respond to edges and contours in the visual field, uh, helping often define shapes and objects. Uh, and then the next area that's important is what's called object detection and recognition. Now, this involves identifying specific objects within an image and, and determining what they are. Uh, AI models are often trained to recognize patterns that correspond to diff these different objects. So for example, identifying a car or a pedestrian or a traffic light uh, in, a, in a street uh, uh, ecosystem or street uh, scene. Um, another key important component is something that I've already answered in some of the earlier uh, questions, uh, which is around deep learning and convolutional neural networks, CNNs. Uh, most modern vision systems use a level of deep learning, particularly CNNs or convolutional neural networks. Uh, CNNs are often designed to process and recognize visual patterns directly uh, from pixel data. Um, so for example, a CNN might be trained to recognize cats in a photo by analyzing millions of images of cats and then learning what features distinguishes them from other objects. You know, for example, let's talk about a detailed workflow input. You know, a system receives an image or a video frame, for instance, a photo of a cat. It gets pre-processed, where the image is pre-processed for quality, such as converting it to grayscale or adjusting brightness and contrast. Then we extract features, uh, here the system breaks down the image into smaller parts to detect features like edges, corners, textures. Uh, this might involve some convolution operations where filters slide over the image uh, to pick up these uh, features. Then comes the object detection and recognition. Now we're extracting features uh, that are fed into the machine learning model, typically uh, CNN. Uh, the CNN you know, consists of these multiple layers that you know, progressively learn to identify more complex features. Uh, initially, it might recognize just edges and textures, but then whole objects like the object uh, of a cat. Um, so computer vision uses the combination of image processing, feature extraction, machine learning, especially deep learning, 
to enable computers to uh, interpret visual data um, by mimicking, in, in many ways, the way humans see and understand the world. Uh, computer visions are certainly a, a powerful tool in various applications, uh, you know, from everyday smartphone features to more advanced medical diagnostics.